Hello everyone, this is Rich Hay from WindowsObserver.com. I'm here to give you a little sneak peek at MoTweets from Panoramic Software. This is the Windows Phone 7 version of their very popular Windows Mobile Twitter application. It is due out this week. They submitted it on the 21st of February to the Windows Marketplace for validation and it should be out uh, probably by the end of this week by the based on my own experience with how long it takes them to take a look at an app and barring any issues. Uh, they have really put together an excellent application here. They've really taken advantage of the Windows Phone 7 interface and the Metro UI and it, it is just an attractive application and I hope to give you an idea by showing you here on the Windows Phone 7 emulator from the developer tools of what, this, what the program looks like and how you can customize it. Uh, it it, as I said in the in the post about this, the, the one thing about this that I found the most exciting was the fact that it is so customizable. So when you first install the application, you'll get your entry on the menu. You tap uh, the MoTweets logo. It'll bring you to this screen. This is where you add your Twitter account, of course, your username, your password, and there's a checkbox there to follow Panoramic Soft if you aren't already. And I want to point out that down here on the bottom, there's also you can do this step later what they let you do is they let you access the public timeline the trending topics and things like that without having a Twitter account so you can track and follow but the minute you want to interact I'm send a tweet or do something like that then you're gonna to have to register your account so once you've got your credentials in there you tap the check mark there'll be some communication back and forth between uh, your phone and the Twitter servers to get everything set up and this is the main interface to Mo Tweets. Now these are all defaults here uh, and it's set up with the Metro UI so the normal thing happens. You flick and it moves to the next tab. You flick and it moves to the next tab. So with these being the defaults this is extremely customizable and the first thing I want to show you how is how you can customize this screen. Uh, down here on the bottom you got your menu bar. You've got the first one which is compose a tweet the second one is a menu button does the exact same thing as all the headers did on the main screen it you if you go to one of those you click on inbox and it goes to the inbox on this page if you click on um, mentions it goes to the mentions tab or you can flick or there's a third way just tap on the the header and it will get you to the same tab so there's multiple ways to get in and around all these tabs but let's say you don't want the defaults down here on the bottom that fourth icon is the streams icon you click on that and it brings up all of the streams that are available to you and this if you notice these are everything that's currently on that default page when you log into MoTweets now if you want to get rid of something you click on it and you hit the minus key down here and it's gone so I'm gonna customize this a little bit I don't follow the main timeline all the time sometimes I follow a list that I have so if you want to add something you come down here to the plus sign and it brings up all these options right here you can get the training topics worldwide you can get your local training topics uh, feature tweets the public timeline uh, you can follow RSS feeds do a follow a search or you have your own account or you can add an account uh, MoTweet supports up to six different Twitter accounts now I want to add some of my lists to my default settings. So I click on my account and as you can see here, here's, here's a list of things I can add to the default. My outbox, tweets I've favorited. These are retweets that have been retweeted to me. These are tweets that have been retweeted by me. And then this is my tweets that have been retweeted. So let's add that one to the list and here it is. As you can see, it takes you back to the stream. So these are the four default tabs or pages I have to look at. Now the, it's also customizable with the up and down arrows to move that to exactly where you want it at. So let's add another one on here. Let's add one of my lists. Now you can see the second tab. Again, you can flick or you can, you can tap on the header to get to it. And let's find this list right here. You click on it, boom, it's added. And there it is on the page. Once you've got it customized the way you want it, just hit the back key and it will update and now what you see is all those tabs that I just selected to be on my page are there I don't have anything extra 
I don't have anything I didn't want. I have what I chose to have there. And I can tweak this. I can customize it. I can do all kinds of stuff to update it. Now, while I'm in here, let me point out a couple of different things about the interface. Is first off, you can see the latest tweets or the newest tweets have a little green dot below the, the Twitter avatar. That gives you an indication that that is a recently updated tweet. And if you want to interact with a tweet, just tap and hold down on the tweet and you'll get this menu with six different entries. Normal reply, you can retweet it, you can quote it so that you can also edit the tweet, you can mark it as a favorite, or you can send it by email or send it by SMS text message to somebody. All right, but we're not going to do any of that right now. Uh, we're going to go back to the timeline, and I'm going to show you, uh, obviously, I didn't point out this button right here. This, uh, this icon, of course, is refresh. So if you hit refresh, it will connect to the Twitter, and you'll get any updates that you have. Now, as you see here, the ellipsis always indicates more, right? So if you tap on that, you're going to get additional menu entries that are not duplicated up here. First off is Quick View. Quick View functions to give you a quick peek at something without you having it installed as a default on your uh, Twitter page there in MoTweets. So let's see I want to see, let's say I want to do a, I want to look at the current trends. So there's all the current trends and if I was to click on one of these I would go to the search box and it would access the data it would I would be able to see what is in that hashtag and there they are so anybody who's tweeting about it and if I wanted to add it to my mo tweet setup I just hit the plus key and now it's one of my options back on that main page again as you can see alright pretty customizable I'm very impressed with the customization on this uh, program the next one is search this is your standard typical Twitter search you can search search for anything in the Twitter timeline you can search for a user or you can even search for a location. The next one is to manage accounts. This is where you choose uh, an interaction with your uh, the live tile. MoTweets comes with live tile support. So you can have the live tile just track your mentions. You can have the live tile just track your direct messages or you can have them track both or you can turn it off and you can have none of that appear on the front page. I've used the uh, live tile over the last few days on a pre-release version of MoTweets and have not noticed a significant battery drain at all. All right, so that's the options there. So let's go back again to the main page. and Let me get this uh, search turned off. There's search. Um, all right. <clears throat> the next menu option down here is the manage accounts. Like we saw, uh, my we had just done that. All right. No, it's the next one I want. Options. You go here to the options and this is your main options page. Not many entries on here. The first one is auto refresh. You can turn it off or you can have it run every minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, every hour or every three hours. The next option is the max number of tweets. Now this is just like the Windows Mobile version of MoTweets. You can pick a default number of tweets and it will only retrieve that many tweets from your timeline or your mentions or your inbox when you start the app so it won't go backwards 24 hours and try to retrieve everything that's just that doesn't make sense so you can set this and customize that as you want picture services two different picture services are supported by the initial release of MoTweets one is TwitPic which is my personal favorite and then as you see here YFrog is the other one uh, let's see so I'm gonna leave that as default the URL shortening services, there's two options provided. One is Bitly, which everyone pretty much knows if you do shortening the URL and you use Twitter, and tinyurl.com. So both very popular, and you can choose whichever one you want to use. And the final option is to simply turn the live tile on or off. Now, also on the options page, Panoramic Software doesn't just write Mo tweets, they, they write quite a bit of software, and you can actually access any of that software from their. Uh, option stuff as well and here's the about page it shows you they're calling it version 2.0 even though it's the initial release for Windows Phone 7 it is going to be version 2.0 um, and I, there really is not a lot more well I to show you here you can when you click on something let's show you what a reply uh, compose screen looks like uh, it already comes up with the mention 
you can choose any one of six accounts to use or send it to all six accounts or two accounts or three accounts, whichever you want to do. Uh, the one thing I do like here is that MoTweets gives you the option to include your location right on the Compose screen. So there's no setting, there's no worrying about going into options. You just click that box and it will include the location in, in the tweet. Unclick it, no location information goes out. Now down here on the bottom we have our menu bar again. Pretty self-explanatory. This is your send, but, uh, send icon, so you tap that to send the tweet. This is your photo. You can either take a picture or add a picture. This right here is for people. Now this isn't an, um, uh, you know, a way to um, search for people, uh, is like do the at sign in TweetDeck and then you type in the name and it kind of automatically finds who matches. But it does provide a list of people you have recently interacted with or had tweets from to make it quick and easy to access their shortcut and there you go, it's, you're able to add that to the tweet. The last one is a link. If you bring up this box, you type in a link here, what it will do is it will use whichever URL shortening service you chose and it will create a short link and it will automatically put it into the tweet. So let's just for an example do CNN.com, choose go, and there it is. There's the short tweet right there, the bit.ly uh, short URL. And then down here you again have access to the options, the about page, and the more apps that I just showed you a moment ago with the options. So that's the tweet compose page. It's the same page when you click on the compose button. You simply tap, you choose which accounts, you tap here to in the window to tweet or to uh, type your tweet and it keeps track of your characters. Same button for the include location and the same exact icons down here on the bottom. So I let me show you what somebody's uh, profile looks like. If you click on the individual, let me get out of here. If I click on the individual, I will get their details and it will download their avatar. But look at the background. What you actually get here is you get their Twitter background. Whatever background they have set to work on the web will also appear, uh, as you can see, real faint back here in the background. I think that is just another nice little uh, uh, thing to personalize this and really make it an attractive app. And then, of course, here's the, the locate with Bing. They've integrated Bing Maps. And uh, when you click on somebody, if they have picked a location, Bing Maps will come up and it will show you the location of the individual, that uh, the profile you're looking at. Alright, so that is Mo Tweets coming out this week sometime as expected for Windows Phone 7. It is an absolutely terrific version of Twitter for the Windows Phone platform. There's lots out there. It's one of the, it's one of the better ones personally. I used it on Windows Mobile so I'm a bit biased to use it on Windows Phone. Uh, there is some competition out there. But uh, the folks at Panoramic Software have done an absolutely tremendous job of building this application from the ground up. It is not a port of the Windows Mobile version, not by far. It is uniquely Windows Phone 7, and they have done a terrific job. So keep your eyes out on the marketplace, and this thing will be out soon, and get it on your phone. There are two versions. There's a free version that is ad-supported, and there's a paid version that will cost you $0.99 cents to get. All right. Until next time, take care.